Hey everyone, what is going on? Today I'm going to be talking about NordVPN and if it works with Netflix or not guys in 2020. So I've been using NordVPN for a while now and I must say it honestly is one of the top solid VPNs in my opinion so far in 2020 and it works really well with Netflix as well. You know, I haven't gotten many of the of the um, error like where it detects the VPN actually and you can't and you can't watch the show or movie you're trying to watch. I haven't really gotten that error too much. You know, I've tested it with UK Netflix us netflix and i've been having uh no issues with that at all even um even japanese netflix i've been able to watch so yeah guys i'm going to show you all the prices really quick so as you can see nordvpn isn't that bad in my opinion compared to some other vpns like expressvpn um which is like 12.95 a month so they have some pretty good deals guys and if you are interested in purchasing nordvpn i'll leave a link down below where you guys can actually go ahead and directly purchase it and save yourself some money with the deals that they got going on and yeah so now i'm going to go ahead and show you guys the NordVPN application so it's very easy once you once you buy it then you just download it very quick download very simple to set up and then all you're gonna want to do is that you're gonna see this um, when you start it up and this is where all the servers are you can they also have a pretty cool map feature that the other VPNs don't have where you can like just you know like choose one based on the map however you can also just choose it from here from the list you literally go to the search bar um, they also have like a dedicated IP six section which is pretty cool um, specialty servers, double, VP, double VPN, P2P, dedicated IP. It's pretty neat. Uh, I'll show you guys the settings really quick. So you know they got the kill switch, app kill switch. That's pretty important to uh, select. I would select those, just in case it disconnects. You don't, you're, you still stay anonymous and safe, guys, behind your VPN. So you know, let's say I wanted to connect to the United States, I would go ahead and type in the United States right here. Um, and as you guys can see, they have uh, so many servers to choose from. The list just goes on and on and on. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and connect to one server right now and show you guys that I'm able to watch the American Netflix um, without it being detected. So I'm just choosing a random one right now. And as you guys can see, it's connecting. All right, sweet. So now we're connected. As you can see, we got the notification. And now we are on. We are back on our Netflix. So I'm gonna go ahead and start up a show. And we're gonna go ahead and see if it loads up. So I'm gonna click this show right here. As you guys can see, it loaded instantly. Check that out. Um, you guys, it might be black on your screen, like the show, because I don't want to get any copyright issues. But you can see that it's working because the gray bar right here, where my my pointer, my mouse pointer is, as you guys can see, it's loading through, and I could skip through the episode um, without any issues there. Um, so yeah, if this was, if it was actually detected by Netflix, then there would be a pop up saying like uh, you're using a VPN or a proxy. You have to like turn it off. So yeah, Netflix is not able to detect NordVPN, guys, and it's that easy to set up. You literally just buy it, like like I said, links will be down below. Then you go ahead and choose a plan. Um, you know, the month plan might be more, um, might be better for you if you're just going on vacation to like somewhere outside of the USA or like outside of your home country, and you're and you want to be able to watch your home Netflix while you're gone. Um, sorry about that, guys. So yeah. That's with the one month. Now, if you maybe like if you plan on using it also for like torrenting and streaming um, a lot, like every, like a daily thing, then maybe go with something a little bit longer, um, and you will save some money like that in the long run because most VPNs nowadays, like when you go for a longer plan, you actually do save some money um, in the long run. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. That's how you do it. You literally just buy the VPN, connect to it, um, and then start watching your shows from whatever country you want to be from. Um, so yeah guys, thanks very much for watching please leave a like on the video subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out guys